What up, players? It's Wobos Tay up in this mud. Happy Saturday to you all. Got a little Ogre Kingdoms unboxing to get the Vampire Count's taste out of my mouth. Oh, Isabella. Oh, you're so good, but whew, I need a little break from all that undead stuff. Dusty. All right, so I've got Brag the Gutsman here. It's a fan cast released for the Ogre Kingdoms, and we're going to do a little review on him today. So I opened the packet already, and I took him out, and just want to note that this single figure, I guess, cost, when I, when I saw the cost for it, because I just picked it up, um, and I took it to the register with a bunch of other Ogre Kingdom stuff that I'll be unboxing, but when I, <laughs> when I saw the total, and I was like, wow, that can't be right, and I, I, I actually looked at the cost of this thing, I was like, really? Seriously? Wow. This is an expensive guy that I hear is not even that great from all the tactics websites that I've been reading. A lot of people on the forums over at um, the ogrestronghold.com, most of the things that I've been read about him say that he's not that good. But you know what? If he's not, if he ends up being not that great, then what I'll do is I'll, I'm just going to use him as a man eater because the man eaters that I'm planning on running are going to be armed either with pistols or double handed weapons or stuff like that to help complement their special rules so you know I'll find a way to use him and he's a he's a cool looking model real creepy looking but but he looks really cool now on the clamshell how does he look laid out bare before assembly let's check it out so they come in three pieces we'll take a look at the body first you've got the body the the right arm and the the accessory sprue that has the the weapon and the gut plate on it but just taking a look at the body, I can notice a minor flash here and there. You see that I notice he's standing on a bunch of gut plates, which I think is pretty funny since he collects them. He's like the executioner for the ogres. Um, there's this really bad line of flash down the side of him that is really going to be a pain to get off. Or not flash, but this mold line. Um, but we'll see how that goes. It goes all the way down to to his boot it looks like and um, I like the detail he he reminds me of it's very similar to all the other ogres in the body shape um, add this accessory belt to these hooks and chains on his on his back and yeah, not, not much to say because his, his facial features are all covered by this this executioner's hood. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it black, like on the on the cover. When I do my tutorial for him, I might have it be a dirty sackcloth brown. I think that might be a little bit cooler and more um, spooky. Kind of like Resident Evil 4, I think. The one with Leon Kennedy and that guy with the chainsaw with the sackcloth over his head. I think that might be a little spookier. Um, or also like that Benicio Del Toro movie, The Orphanage, where the kid, that creepy little kid, had the potato sack on his head with one hole for an eye. It would be pretty cool to have seen this with um, one eye hole covered and just having one eye where he's peeking out of. That would have been pretty creepy. Anyways, I don't see, looking at it, I don't see any, any air bubbles, which is pretty, pretty much a first for me. So I'm not gonna have to, looks like I'm not gonna have to fix anything, do any gap filling, or hole filling. I might have to do some gap filling depending on how the, the pieces fit together, but this is a good start. So let's see how the rest of the pieces look. This is the second biggest piece. It's the arm holding the, the giant handle for the hook. And I can already see that this weapon was bent in shipment. And look at all the flash on it that's gonna need to be cut off. I'm gonna have to dip this in hot water and bend it. They say that for fine cast, if you have something like this where it's obviously not straight and it's kind of bent at a f funny angle, then just dip it in hot water for a little while, steaming hot water, um, and safely either taking it out and or, or using, I don't know, some kind of rubber gloves or something so that you don't burn your skin. Just kind of bend it to shape the way you want it. Hold it there for a little while in the hot water and then take it out and leave it to dry. Either holding this or running cold water and then running it under to, to set it again. I have, I, I'm not sure about that cold water one though because I, I read that technique on a, on a forum that a lot of people were like, hey, what are you doing? Running cold water immediately after the hot water could, um, could weaken the 
something and, and make it more brittle and cause it to break. So anytime I've ever had to do it myself, I haven't done the cold water bit. I just have a little container of really hot water. I put the whole thing in and then when I feel like it's been in there for enough, maybe say a minute or two, so it's nice and pliable but not completely structurally weakened, then I'll take the thing out and just um, hold it hold it to place for for a good minute. You might have to over bend it just a little bit so so that the, uh, it gets used to the new direction you're having it go in but that's that's how I've heard it done. Hey leave a comment or write a response or film a video response if you want about how you would fix something like this if it's any different if you've learned any other tips or techniques or tricks and um, and be cool. Help, help everybody in the community out. Last thing we're going to look at is the sprue that has the gut plate and the blade. And the blade looks pretty simple. There's a whole lot of flash, but here you can see the, the slot that's supposed to slip into the, the, top of the, the top of the pole. And looks like there's no real air bubbles or miscasts, just a whole lot of flash. Flash cast! And yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take this guy away now, build him up, and we'll see how he looks like once he's all put together and ready for the painting. Alright, so here is our Bragg the Gutsman model. The only thing I did not do is glue the ballast sand to the base yet, which is what I'll always do before flocking, because when you spray the undercoat primer on, I find that it's good to have the, blocking, the flocking on it because the uh, primer will make it all stick and adhere to each other. I couldn't decide which hole I wanted the peg at the bottom of the foot to go in, so I eventually chose this second one in the center, but I, I did drill out this corner one first, and I decided I didn't like the way it, it evened out. Really helpful that they've got those pegs at the bottom of the, the feet. It's really helpful. Um, let's take a look at the top of the staff. I did put it under some hot water, but uh, you know, it's it's hard to tell when you've got this thing and you're trying to bend it all different kind of angles and directions, whether or not it's gonna be the correct way when you eventually glue it. So we'll see how that ends up. It, it, it looks like it's okay for now. And um, you know, overall, I think that the model itself, it looks really good. But if you have not bought these this model yet, you really got to take a look at the rules and see if this is what you want for your army, his um, special rules. Be or if you're really going to be like me and just kind of use him as a man-eater with a double-handed weapon. Just because the, the cost of the model and you saw what, what came in it, there was not really any options, accessories, or any ways to convert any, anything extra. You know, he doesn't have his own assistant Noblar, which is a shame. Oh, I also got to clean all this flash over here on the chains, but... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, he doesn't come with anything extra. There's no bits and bobs that you can put on other guys. His gut plate really needs to go on him because I realized when I was gluing it together that there's this little thing on the plate which I thought was flash and I was right about to cut it off because it kind of looked like a, a ring that didn't go all the way around. Um, but it's not. It's not. It's actually a part of this hook that comes on his main body piece that doesn't have the end for it so if you cut it off then it's gonna look like half of a hook that's secured to the gut plate and um, there's no way of knowing that from looking at the model because when you take a, a look at the clamshell there's no instructions on the back like they have for the really awesome plastic one plastic one figure solo figure models like the white king and um, the temple guard old blood and all that stuff so these fine casts don't have the instructions on it you just kind of gotta guess what is flash what is a mold line what is a miscast and what is supposed to be there so again the model itself I think is cool I wish it was a little cheaper both in points in the game and um, money wise and you know, if, if you're not going to use him for what he does and you are not going to run man-eaters, even if you are going to run man-eaters, I would suggest thinking about other models first just because the, like I said, the price was pretty significant for um, for a single figure. I, I think it's almost comparable to 
you know, for what I bought this guy, Bragg, with, I could have bought an iron blaster, I think, and had some spare change left over. A couple bucks. So, um, that's it. This is my, that, that was my review. I think I would give it a one thumb up instead of two. Um, because like I said, the, the model is pretty cool looking. It's got a lot of awesome character. And when you put it on the table, it's gonna, it's gonna look pretty cool. It's just that, uh, for the price it costs, eh, I don't know. Alright, so, the choice is yours, my friends. Thanks for watching this little Ogre Kingdoms video. I'm gonna put it up on my blogspot, warbosstay.blogspot.com. And I'm also gonna put it up to the ogrestronghold.com, which now allows us to put videos, YouTube videos, so awesome, right on. And um, if YouTube doesn't get destroyed by SOPA, then hopefully you'll be able to see this video and like it and comment and leave me a comment and all that other good stuff. Alright, see ya.